Good morning, kids. How are you? I hope you all are doing well. Okay, let's start chapter number 9, part 2. And today's topic is habitat and adaptation. Today we will talk about the, uh, what do you mean by the habitat and adaptation and different type of the, uh, we will discuss different type of habitats also. Okay, let's start. What is habitat? Then a habitat is a place in the environment where an, uh, where a, a living organism lives and grows naturally. For example, the natural habitat of the tiger is a forest, not a zoo, right? A habitat provides suitable living conditions such as proper food, temperature, shelter and climatic conditions that are best suited for that particular organism to survive. For example, forest provides a tiger with uh, animals that uh, it can hunt for eating shady trees and plants uh, for it to hide as well as to take the rest and uh, other suitable conditions climatic conditions uh, sunlight rain in other words a habitat is a natural home or the environment of the animal right it is a uh, dwelling dwelling means home right dwelling means home uh, a, a place where he lives right then it provides the home to the animal okay now next is types of habitat now we will discuss types of habitat then there are mainly two types of habitat and others are also there so total here four are these two are most important hey na? the major amount of the animals and plants they are found in these two and others are also there aerial and arboreal now see one by one the first is terrestrial habitat right second aquatic habitat third aerial habitat and arboreal habitat arboreal habitat right now see one by one the first is terrestrial habitat terrestrial habitat uh, means the surface of the land uh, it serves as a terrestrial habitat a wide variety of the plants and animal live on the land and terrestrial habitat includes uh, it may include desert and uh, forest sorry uh, second is forest mountains grassland these all are the uh, comes in the category of the terrestrial habitat for example of the terrestrial uh, organism include horse deer human uh, dog uh, snakes elephant and uh, plants will also come in this category all the trees they comes in the uh, which have a terrestrial habitat okay now next one is the aquatic habitat aquatic habitat uh, are further classified into the aqua aqua means water aqua means water it means water habitat right then it further can be divided into the marine habitat and the freshwater habitat right uh, marine and freshwater habitat freshwater habitat water bodies of all forms serve as an aquatic habitat for a wide variety of the flora and fauna ponds lakes river oceans are the example of the aquatic habitats and they form the natural home for the aquatic uh, organisms such as fish duck uh, ducks and uh, if we um, talking about plants then algae and water lily etc right and other next next one is the aerial habitat organisms such as birds they spend a considerable amount of the time in the air so such organisms are called aerial organisms and the habitat is called aerial habitat next is the arboreal habitat some organisms known as arboreal um, because they spend the most crucial part of their life on the trees right arbor means tree arbor means tree right for example birds may come to uh, land and fly in the air but most of the time they build their nest on the tree monkeys squirrels several insects are there which most of the time they spend uh, most of the time is uh, spent by them on the tree such ex such uh, type of habitat is called arboreal habitat right okay now come to the next next topic is the adaptation the organisms that live in a particular habitat may not be able to survive in another habitat 
for example fish it can survive into the water but cannot survive on the land a monkey it cannot survive in water and camel cannot survive uh, in the thick forest you know so all living organisms have the certain specific features and habits that enable them to survive successfully in a particular habitat right such feature that enable an organism that enable an organism to survive successfully in a particular environment in a particular habitat those features are called uh, adaptive features and this process is called adaptation right okay now next adaptation for the terrestrial habitat now i told you the example of terrestrial habitat it may be the desert it may be the mountain it may be the uh, forest and uh, grassland so here we are going to discuss about the forest right uh, sorry uh, desert now desert uh, is a region with a scanty rainfall scanty means less rainfall which is less than 25 cm annually it is usually very hot during the days with the temperature soaring above the 50 degree centigrade right it may be up to the 50 degree centigrade and cold at night with the temperature dipping to the as low as 0 degree centigrade then desert have very harsh uh, conditions right and it have the vegetation uh, also vegetation and animal population is also there the plants and the animal that live uh, here have adapted to uh, um, to um, cope with that difficult uh, conditions environmental condition plants such as the cacti cactus and acacia they grow there camel and uh, in the animal there are uh, uh, some animal uh, as camel next maybe the kangaroo ray, rat kangaroo rat snakes spiders these are the desert animal which live there okay now they uh, if we are talking about the plant then such as cactus acacia then these plants uh well uh, adapted for that particular region they have the uh, well developed root system stem modified to perform the photosynthesis and it is fleshy due to the storage of water water is stored in the stems and leaf reduced to the spine to prevent the water loss and such plants are called succulents also called succulents right you can see in this picture these are the example of succulents these are the desert plant you can see cactus these all are the have the spiny the leaves have converted to the spine to reduce the water loss right and this is the uh, main structure which is a stem this is the stem and it is it becomes green to perform the photosynthesis right okay now next animal there are so many animal as uh, rats snake kangaroo kangaroo rat i told you earlier also and uh, camel it is the shape of the desert called the shape of the desert it have the following features following adaptive features are uh, found in it the first is a camel has long and thick eyelashes if you will see the eye of the camel then it have the thick eyelashes that prevent sand from entering into the eye the next is it can close its nostril to keep the sand from entering the nose to keep uh, yes it uh, do not allow to sand uh, to enter into the nose the long legs keeps the you can see in this picture these long legs keep the body away from the sand it is it has the thick and padded feet that uh, enable it to walk on the sand you can see the feet these are the padded feet do not sink into the sand, uh, sand. a camel can drink enormous amount of the water at a time as much as 120 liters that can last for a long time right and the hump of the camel you see the hump this hump is the storage of fat it uh, sometime uh, children say ki it is a storehouse of the water so it is the uh, it stores fat 
that is gradually used up during long journeys as the fat gets used the hump size reduced size of the hump reduced continuously and it regain its original uh, shape after the camel uh, eats food and uh, next is it has an exceptionally long large intestine to absorb all the water from the food that they eat right and next skin is very thick uh, thick skin uh, it to keep heat away and uh, next to uh, conserve water a camel does not sweat sweating do not take place and passes out highly concentrated urine in the minimal quantity bahut kam quantity mein urine hoti hai then many desert animal including the kangaroo rat live in the burrows which keep them cool and they usually come out at the night when the temperature uh, temperatures are low a kangaroo rat does not need to uh, drink much uh, much water since the water is uh, produced inside its body doing the oxidation of food and the desert food such as seeds uh, generally uh, have a lot uh, lot of water stored in it right okay i hope uh, you are getting it okay thanks for watching me